In this tutorial, we'll learn how to add any Indic language text in Blender, like Hindi or Tamil or Marathi, Bengali or even languages like Nepalese or Arabic. There are three simple steps. First, we have to download a non-unicode font for the target language like Hindi. Then the same font has to be applied in Blender. And the most important step is, we have to convert our text into non-unicode characters. Now let's understand this third step in more details. Usually we use Unicode characters for Indic language scripts, but Blender does not fully support this Unicode representation. So we need non-Unicode characters, and that's why we need some legacy font with non-Unicode text. For example, if we want to add here a Hindi text, we have to first download a font like Crudy Dev, which supports non-Unicode text. You can download the font from this website, the link is given below in the video description, and remember that you can only use a non-Unicode font for Blender. We'll save it on our desktop, we don't need to install the font. Font files usually come in a zip format, so we have to unzip it into some folder, and within that folder, we can see a TTF or OTF file, which is the actual font we have to use in Blender. So let's go back to Blender, and then in the Add menu, we have an option to add a traditional text object. This comes with Blender's default font, but we need Hindi, so in the Properties Editor, go down to the tab which is for text. Then under the font section, against the regular font, we have to select our non-unicode font, which we just downloaded. We'll select the TTF file, which is called Crudy Dev, and we'll immediately get some Hindi text here, but we'll see that it's far from accurate. Let's first go to Google Translate in another tab. We have converted this English text into Hindi, and by default it's in Unicode. Now we'll copy this Hindi text, and back to Blender. If we want to enter that Hindi text here, we have to first switch over to the edit mode. We can use backspace to delete the existing text, and then paste what we copied from Google Translate. But as you can see, it does not work, we just see some garbage characters, because Blender cannot render Unicode text. This is exactly why we must convert the Unicode text into non-Unicode, with ASCII-based encoding, for the specific font we are using. So this is the website we can use for the Crudy Dev font. We have to paste the Unicode text into this text box, just copy-paste the text from Google Translate or any other place. Then if we convert it, we'll get the corresponding text with ASCII encoding. It may not look like Hindi, but it's okay. Just copy the text from here, and inside Blender, let's first remove this garbage or Unicode text, and paste the text we copied from the converter. So we can now see our text in Hindi font, and it looks perfect, no breaks, and no garbage. So this is how we can use any Indic text in Blender. We have to follow the same process. Let's say we want to use Tamil in our second example. So we have to download this Colidam TSC font, or a similar font that does not use the Unicode system. Now in Google Translate, we can change our text into Tamil, then copy that text, and go to this website to convert it into non-Unicode for this specific font. The links are given below in the video description. Once it is converted into ASCII, we'll copy that text into Clipboard and go back to Blender. We need to change its font to Tamil, so we'll open the Tamil font, which we have already downloaded. We'll assign the TTF file for this text object. In the final step, we have to enter that non-Unicode text. So in the edit mode, let's delete the existing text which was for Hindi, and paste the code we created for Tamil. And we see that the Tamil text is displaying perfectly. We covered two examples to maintain a balance between North India and South India, one language for each, but the process is very similar. You can create any Indic language text in the same way. You have to just use the correct font, which is given below in the video description, and please remember that each font must have its own converter as well, so use only the well-known fonts that come with a converter. I hope you like this tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.